Randy Vance. I am in Stewart, Florida on Stingray's brand new 269 dual console. Now this is a completely new and different boat for Stingray. It's an offshore boat with family features. It's ready to fish and it's ideal for beach combing cruising and just having a good time. I'm gonna walk you through this boat. Let's start by talking about the helm. Now the helm seat is extra wide so you can have a companion with you. You've got a fold up armrest there and a bolster. The passenger side has the same equipment. Now the helm station itself is color matched to the boat and that's a nice look. You've got a 12 inch Garmin which is optional, a command link display which is standard and a Fusion 770 stereo complete with amplifier. Down below you've also got your on off switches for the motors and we've equipped this boat with Zipway, an automatic leveling system that is substituted for trim tabs. The tilt wheel you see here is C-Star, it's standard, three spoke stainless steel and it's equipped with power assist steering standard. Now the hard top is an option but if you select it you get the rod holders, you get it pre-rigged for aftermarket outriggers, you get the electronics box and I like the design of it. Look at how the windshield is integrated into the supports, it's both a sleek look and extra sturdy. Here, after the captain's seat, you've got the standard entertainment galley. There's a freshwater sink, a cooler, and I like the clear lid on it. You can see what you're going for before you reach in. Down below, you've got a slide out angle, and all of this can be optioned up with a grill and an electric refrigerator. Now, the fighting cockpit gives you a perfect blend of hardcore fishing action and comfort. You've got the aft lounge here. You lift it up and you'll see that there are four batteries in here. That's a standard setup on a dual motor. Two house batteries and two starting batteries. You've got easy access to the plumbing, which is good for service. Another thing I like is the thick combing pads. That makes it easy when you're bracing yourself in a fish fight. There's plenty of rod holders along the gunnels. These are standard. You've also got shotgun rod holders on board. On the port side, you've got this aft facing lounge. More combing pads also to ease your fishing and there's a well positioned stainless steel grab rail there for safety. Now under the combing you've got a rod holder here and that'll hold two six and a half foot rods, a little longer than that. I like the fact that this part is molded of fiberglass in the factory. It's not an inexpensive vacuum molded piece you see on many boats. On the port side you've got cup holders, a pair for the back seat and a pair for the midship seat. You've also got a 25 gallon live well. Across from the live well, you'll find the fish box on the starboard deck. And when you walk forward, you'll find a wastebasket that folds out of the passenger seat, and there's dry storage underneath the driver's seat. Now take a look at the port side console. This is where you get dual console, starboard and port. Underneath the port side, you've got a large head compartment. This one has a standard sink and a pump out head, but we've been optioned up here with the porcelain pump out head. I like the storage shelf on the side, and the fiddle rail that keeps gear from falling off. Under the starboard console, you've got lots of storage via this door. Also inside is a large hatch, which gives you access to the backside of your electronics panel for easy service. Now, the first thing you'll notice about the bow seating area is the depth. When you sit down, you sink into the cushions, and that gives you a nice, secure feeling, even in rough water. You've got stainless steel grab rails on either side and they're tucked into the gunnels so they won't interfere with fishing tackle. On the port and starboard lounge, you've got fold down armrests for extra comfort. If you remove the center cushion, you've got a nice step up to the anchor locker. Underneath is a cooler that drains overboard. In the anchor locker, we're equipped with an optional windlass. Now the 269 DC has hardcore fishing covered and it has family cruising covered but it's also got water sports covered if you get the optional tow pylon on the transom. And you've got the extra large swim platform back there with the reboarding ladder tucked in under the hatch. Now the Stingray 269 DC is a high quality boat. We found it to be extremely solid in our tests and it makes about 50 miles per hour a little bit better than that on twin 200 outboard motors. There's a large transom bracket back there that helps that performance and gives it a better ride as well. I'm Randy Vance. This is Stingray's new 269 dual console.